Hello, everyone. In case we haven't met, my name is Dr. Harmony, and I will help you live fearless, live loved, and live free. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Make sure you hit subscribe and also the notification bell so that you know when all my videos and content come live. And today I'm back with Michelle, and we are doing our monthly empowerment session to help you come into more empowerment within yourself and identify today's topic is what is holding you back, and especially from what you love in every area of your life, love and livelihood. So welcome, Michelle, and thank you for coming back and sharing with us some more empowerment. Yes, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So let's talk then, just jump right in and share with us what this means about holding back. Um, I know when I like work with clients, a lot. And even let's just back that up to myself for a moment. And, you know, cause this is an individual thing from the harmony of inside out. Right. So a rigid mind creates a rigid body. Those rigid thoughts create a rigid life. And so it, so the reflection of the interior rigidness of being stuck, being limited, our subconscious programming, our thoughts, um, as I said, but even our emotions and our actions that really is the magnetizer of what's outside. So it's, to me, when we talk about being stuck, it's first of all, like, well, what are you stuck in? But it doesn't really matter where you're stuck in because wherever you're stuck, it's going to carry throughout everything because it's coming from a subconscious program, a belief system, the limitations, the family generational programming, um, our fears of, you know, failure and also our limitations of our own connection to the highest self and pulling all that energy in. So like, where are you stuck? I mean, that is a huge topic. We're going to condense down here because I think the goal is, is that it's a reflection of you and where you're limiting yourself and everything around you. So tell us, Michelle, where, what this means and how you would help someone to become more empowered by removing these obstacles that are blocking them from moving forward. Okay, so this month um, is September. With September, August, we think of like going back to school and fresh starts. Um, so with this energy, we want to jump into it even as adults and really get, um, get ourselves out of our own way um, and figure out what's holding us back. So that I have four steps for all of this. The first step is to figure out, um, to stop trying to figure out what's wrong with us. So a lot of times we want to spend so much energy on going through, where did this come from? What from my childhood caused this pattern, blah, blah, blah. blah. But if you are trying to, um, let's just say a simple goal of like, you need to save more money. There's a really simple protocol. You need to make more money and spend less. And that's incredibly boring and it's not dramatic and it's not fun. Um, but it, it just cause you have to step into your power and follow the protocol. It's not fun. But a lot of times we want to figure out what's wrong with us. Where did this come from? And that just distracts us from the actual plan. Um, so we want to quit trying to make things complicated and keep it really simple. So step one is quit trying to figure out what's wrong with you. So I would play. say in relation to love, a lot of us, when it comes to the twin flame world is figuring out what's wrong with us and why our twin flame doesn't love us. Right. And right. Thinking we need hours. With us to begin with when technically it's not anything wrong with us. It's a matter of us not waiting for the love from someone else that we within ourselves start to take some action and you said action is simple. Um, it is in one sense, but when we're bombarded by everything at once, a lot of times it's like we don't know where to start. And so as I mentioned, you know, that harmony inside out, well, you start inside. You start doing what you love. You start um, taking some action to bring love into your life. And that means the things around you love. Start giving others the love you want and showing up for others and next thing you know, you're receiving that which you're desiring. Yes. Yeah, I just had a client and um, she wanted to focus on pulling cards about what's, what's he doing? Is he thinking about me? And I was like, that's taking away from you living your life. You're taking all that energy 
and spending your days focused on him. But it's like, go out and stick to the plan of you finding a life, you coming up with hobbies and activities to do. Um, so rather than focusing on what's the bigger picture, what's going on, focus on what you can do in your empowerment. So that's step one. The second um, tip I have this month is to stop telling yourself you're doing everything. So I can only use myself as an example. I know when I was um, an intern with Dr. Harmony, she asked me to write um, you know, blogs or put a video out. And then I would just want to spend more time telling her how I was doing everything and I'm so stressed out and this is hard. And she's like, yeah, but did you do a blog? Have you done a blog yet? We would go like round and round because I would want to say rather than sit in the uncomfortableness, I wanted to talk about all the reasons I couldn't get it done. Mm. And it, um, so stop, stop lying to yourself. Um, we get so used to our own negativity that we don't even realize that we're being negative. And it also... That's a we, victim mode as well. Like we put ourselves as being the victim instead of the victor and we're feeding into the old program and thinking I've already done everything. Right. And therefore I can't, um, I've already tried it basically. Right. right. But if we, the thing is some of the things that is not us doing what it is, it's more the energy or the intention behind what we're doing. It's not the doing itself. Exactly. And for me, with my twin flame story, um, I went through a lot of karma with my sister-in-law, my brother, because we all know that the twin flame story involves family. And I would want to sit and talk about all the things that my sister-in-law was doing wrong rather than just shift my story. Like if I stopped focusing on how awful she was, I'd have to have a full identity crisis. Like you, I'd have to lose that part of me that kept complaining about her and just be happy. And just allow and accept and be open to her coming into my life. So it, we have to um, really embrace that we aren't letting go. We're holding on and we're not trying everything. You know, there's a lot of resistance. And the only thing we have to let go of is the resistance. Oh, but, it, wow. but it will yeah. cause a huge shift. I always tell clients that and I've even had this come up a lot this week. And I've also been faced with that same thing this week. That's why, you know... When we teach this, we keep ourselves so in check, but go to the end of whatever it is and whatever that is that you think is the fear of the worst outcome possible and surrender to that. And the minute you surrender to the worst outcome possible, then technically, then what that's going to do is you, it doesn't matter what that outcome is anymore. You're willing to face whatever that is. And nine times out of 10, we don't have to face anything when we do that. And then we stop making the excuses over time because these are really excuses that we're telling ourselves, which is creative avoidance from us taking personal responsibility to be like, I'm only in this situation because I've made choices that brought me here. And now it's going to take a lot of action or facing challenges for me to make new choices. And I'm more fearful of the change than I am actually what it is that's going on that I'd rather just sit here and keep facing this over and over and over where facing the change that's coming is can be scary. Right. Because we're used to our pain. Like even though we don't want pain, we're used to it. And so the, the idea of happiness and joy and love, even though that's what we say we want, it's scary because it's change, but we have to actually let go of that, which we're holding on to. So I agree. Um, the third step, two more is, to let yourself be terrified. Whenever we're doing anything new, um, we have to be okay with being beginners and being afraid. So much of our culture, we, we try to avoid being uncomfortable. Um, but we know that coal turns into a diamond with pressure. Um, so we're not going to get anywhere. It's not going to be perfect right away. So whatever your goal is, if you, um, you, know, you need to pick a new hobby, you're not going to be great at the hobby right away. You have to let yourself be messy in the beginning. Um, and all those experiences, that's where growth comes from. That's where the joy comes from. If you were an expert right away, you'd miss the journey and it wouldn't be as fun. Um, you're allowed well, You wouldn't to become the expert if you missed the journey to get there. That's true. <laughs> she, could write, she could write a whole other book on that. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then the last part of this one, which I think is really cool, let yourself 
be courageous instead of not have fear. You can be, you can have courage while still being afraid. Um, but we have to quit trying to have situations where we won't have any fear at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the part we try to separate from those emotions that we basically, um, I think we talked about this last month, which by the way, we'll make sure to put a link to prior videos um, up top in the below. So make sure to check out some prior monthly videos that we've done for empowerment. But I remember that we had a conversation a little bit about that um, being so afraid to um, face our... <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't you should leave this because this is being terrified and still doing it <laughs> da -da -da -da. yeah okay so yes um, yeah, I this just is totally called went being blank on what I was saying right and that's right. how you can like turn around like it's a blooper so what you know <laughs> you I always wanted to put bloopers in and so guess what we just did right yeah just shoot a horn <laughs> <laughs> you know you and it like the top one says you don't discover who you are by having a great time. This was fun, yeah, more I, fun than if we did that it. out better, right? I just screwed it up, but showing you that the mistakes become like part of the process. Right. That literally become the perfection and the imperfect because I just demonstrated exactly what you said without even knowing I was going to do that. <laughs> yeah. We, this today has been perfect. It's emerging. The whole thing is. Oh yeah. Cause so. we went into this with the exact topic of this being topic where you're being stuck. And we were stuck on getting started in our recording because <laughs> of the fact that um, the PowerPoint wasn't coming up. The PDF wasn't, we were trying to get a little detailed, make it look a little nicer. And we couldn't figure out what was, what files were what. And so um, we're here. <laughs> But we're here, right? And yeah. that's how we like um, lead by example is what I always say. And especially, you know, I will say this back to because we're talking about, you know, where you're stuck in love. I think a thing that people have to do, like when it comes to say the twin flame or experiencing love, they're so afraid and terrified to experience love because they're afraid that if they do, that they're going to get hurt, right? Right. And vulnerability and like, being afraid to not be perfect, um, like just having bloopers in here, that's real and honest and authentic. And as twin flames, we're on the planet to show um, what's real, not this fake idea of everything. So all of us, if you're watching this video, you have a mission and you have to get out there and you know step into your mission and not wait for everything to be cookie cutter. Have a couple bloopers. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, let yourself be. Well, afraid. it's a good thing Michelle's here. I would have been cutting it out. So yeah. I'm totally down with bloopers. All right. Moving on. Last step. <laughs> um, we want everything to be really easy. So it goes back to we, we don't want to be uncomfortable. Um, we want to start out successful. You know, if you are we smooth transitions <laughs> in our video, right? <laughs> yeah. We do not want to have any mess ups. Um, we want protection from failure, but these moments are what life is all about. You know, it's real honest and it happens. And so we have to quit trying to make sure everything, that there's no pain or strife. We're going to be uncomfortable when we're trying new things and putting ourselves out there. Yeah. And I would say that when it comes to like the twin flame journey, we don't want to face ourselves in the reflection also of the twin. We want it to be easy. We want them to be the ones to show up being perfect, but we're not willing to do the work that it, come, that it takes to see our own self in their mirrors sometimes, much less expect them to do it so it makes it easy for you. Or let's take that into loving your like livelihood, you don't want to, you want to go do something that you love and have passion and purpose about, but you don't want to take the action to take that change and to step into trust and faith to move towards it. That's going to require a lot of faith versus fear in how am I going to survive to do my passion? I got to go do all these things and stay in this job that I don't like before I can, you know, step into my purpose and mission and we want that easy route. We want somebody to tell us how to get our purpose and mission when it's already evolving. It's already happening. And 
there, the easy part is saying, I don't trust the process. Right. Yeah. And you've got to trust the process. Um, a lot of people watching this might be star seeds. We want instant gratification. We have no patience for um, things evolving and growing. And that's one thing we have to be comfortable with things taking time and that, you know, true love will evolve. We can't, it's, it's going to happen, but it's not going to be easy. And it does take work. You know, you can't just point your finger at your twin and say, he or she needs to fix everything. You know, every time you point a finger at somebody, there's three coming back at you. So you probably have something you need to work on as well. So that's um, all I have for you all this month, the four steps to get out of your own way. And just remember that everything we're doing in life, it's supposed to be fun. Like what taking ourselves so serious and just get out there and try something new and um, let yourself grow. Yeah. And it's not one of the things that I've always heard, even my, at the time, I think he was 12 year old grandson taught me this. And we had done a video about this, um, that it's not where you put an end to what you don't like, but it's where you start that counts. Mm. And so it's a manner of just starting somewhere in the middle of everything that you have. So if you aren't happy with where you're at right now, it's about taking some action to bring into your life those things you love, like we said in the beginning here, so that one step at a time, you can begin to love everything about your life and experience love from within, from the harmony inside out. So everything will attract to you that pertains to the love you're missing. And it's not separated from you to begin with. And especially with twin flame love, because that dance starts inside of how we create find balance in that resistance and surrender and learn how to flow with us and love what we do good and bad our shadows and our light and come into acceptance and allow ourselves to go through this gracefully so that we can you know have the love that we want and the love of our life which i'm i'm experiencing which is yeah. amazing she is <laughs> that's awesome so all right thank you everyone for watching and make sure to check out michelle's um sessions below for her empowerment sessions. There's a link below. You can get connected with her and learn more about um, her services. And I know that she's got some amazing, amazing talent and has been on this journey and she can really help you shift from that fear to freedom, find the power, find the heart confidence in order to help you stop being stuck and find love from within. So Make sure then to like, comment, share the shine. Let us know what you would like and topics you would like for us to talk about for the monthly empowerment. Let us know where you're being stuck and what actions you're taking in order to get unstuck. And we will see you in the next video. May you always face your fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Namaste. Namaste.